Okay, we're going to have a look at the two bishop checkmate. This is much easier than the bishop and knight checkmate as we're able to control both light and dark squares and so we can checkmate the black king in any corner. Again, we'll be using a king a lot to force black back and when we get him to the back rank, we'll use our bishops to shepherd him into the corner and deliver checkmate. Now, I'll just illustrate some of the key ideas and positions and then I'll demonstrate it by playing the position against the computer. So in this type of position where the kings are in opposition, white can force black back by just playing his bishop in between kings. And if we look at that, the black king can only go back to the highlighted squares. Another key idea is to get the two bishops side by side because then they create a barrier that the black king can't escape from. And you can see in this position how restricted a black king is. And once we force black to the back rank or any side of the board, we can trap him so that he can only move between two squares. And once we've got him in this position, we'll move our king to a square that is a knight's move away from the corner. And then we're using the bishops, we'll force the king into the corner and checkmate him. Okay, so this is the starting position we're going to play against the computer. And it's best for black if he can try and hang around the center. Okay, so we'd advance for king. King e4. So he's taking the opposition, so we just put the bishop in away, and that forces him back. And we move forward again. Put the bishop in away again. And now we can bring the bishop side by side. So we keep moving a king up. And then we'll check here. Because that gives us another opportunity to put the bishop side by side. And now we can see that if we move a king back, black's going to have to move to c8. And after that, we just force him into the corner by taking away this square. And then we'll take away c8. And from this position, we just got to make sure that we don't stay on white black by playing bishop d6. So all we do is play a waiting move. We move a bishop along this diagonal. And now we can play it with check. And that's checkmate. So it's quite an easy checkmate, especially when you get used to the idea of using your king to force black back and using a bishop side by side to cover the most squares possible. I've put the initial position in the video description but you should try this checkmate out against your computer or against a human opponent of course and from quite a few starting positions as well.